what's up techies i'm back with another video in this video i'm going to show you how to quickly and easily install a localhost ssl certificate on your development environment now why would you want this because sometimes as a developer you may come across a project where you need to test over ssl and you cannot buy a necessary certificate from a certificate authority for your localhost so the only solution here is to self-sign a certificate and Microsoft has it, has made that very easy in two simple steps. Number one, you just open your PowerShell and then paste this command. I will leave this command in the description of the video. So that has created for us a localhost SSL certificate. So then you need to open your IIS the default website is where the localhost is. If you explore, you will see that it's in, in netpub www root. This is your localhost. I have an index file here, which is my lo uh, my default website, which if I explore here, if I browse it, you see it's there, but it's not secure. So how can I make this HTTPS? So I have to go back to my default website and back the bindings and I have to add another binding select here HTTPS and localhost that's the SSL we just created click OK and then close now you have that so if you go again and browse that or SSL you will see it saying that it's not saying that it's not secure but remember we have created an SSL so how can we resolve this error it's because the certificate that we just created is not in the trusted uh, certificates so how do we fix that so you have to go here and look for MMC and then we will add a snap in go to file add snap in you want a certificate snap in and it's for this computer and then yeah local computer that's fine finish and uh, that is the one just click ok then go here personal personal certificates this is the one we just created you can see the date here but this certificate needs to be among the trusted root certificate authority so you just click on it and copy it then open the trusted root certificates and you can see that there's no localhost here just paste it in there and here it is and then after that just close you don't have to save your snapping then I recommend at this stage that you restart your IIS. So open the command prompt and type this command IIS reset forward slash uh, restart. So that command will, um, will stop and then it will start again the IIS. And so the configurations we have made will be picked then go back to our default website and browse the HTTPS and this time round you can see that our localhost has SSL certificate now if you have various projects that you want to develop and test with SSL of a localhost you can do what I did here and go to your localhost folder and create different folders for those websites so for example I have a website here called church another one called library another one called school and index so if I wanted to to test any of this I would just go back to localhost and then put forward slash church and you see now you are in I am the church website so you are creating the church website project so and so on and so forth so basically that is how you can create a, a localhost SSL and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something 
please share and subscribe thank you